Welcome back to our 50th episode. Now the hunt for wild things is heading to the beach. The Dead Sea in Israel is known for floating tourists, mud baths, and its latest attraction, a bowling alley? What kind of person takes a bowling ball on holiday? Hi, I'm Eric Trinidad, and we're here at the Dead Sea in Israel, where we're going to answer the question that we've all been wondering since biblical times. Will a 14-bound bowling ball float in the Dead Sea? He's even got his bowling shirt on. Yeah, this is definitely going to sink. What? How is that possible? The reason why things float in water is because they're less dense than water. Things that are more dense will sink to the bottom. When you put this bowling ball into water, it will sink. And that's because it has a much greater mass per unit area. But Eric isn't bowling into any normal sea. It's the Dead Sea. It only has rivers flowing into it. There are no rivers flowing out of it. It's not just water that's brought in on those rivers and streams. It's also minerals and salts. The water can leave by evaporation, but the minerals and salts stay in the Dead Sea. With all these extra salt molecules, the Dead Sea is more dense, making it 1.2 times denser than the average seawater. So now when Eric rolls the ball into the Dead Sea, it displaces the same volume of water, but this volume of water weighs more. The water displaced weighs 14.4 pounds, just a little bit more than the bowling ball itself. This is why it floats. Totally floats. Eric has really done his homework here because he's chosen a bowling ball which is just the right mass to get it bobbing in the water. If it was the next weight size up, he would have definitely have a sinker. 